Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Hexels, the hexagonal minesweeper game of my dreams. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the first episode because I really did want to keep playing this game. I thought I'd come back and show you all a different feature of the game that the user made levels. There's actually a puzzle generator within the game, which is really sophisticated. All you do, you press a random seed, select the difficulty and generate the puzzle. Now I know what you might be thinking, if it's randomly generated, then it probably sucks. But this game actually is a really smart random generator. All of the puzzles generated are solvable without guessing, and a lot of them have really interesting tricks that you won't find in any other puzzle in each puzzle. There's like 10 million of them, and they're all very unique to solve. So the only downside is they're going to look a little bit less elegant than the official levels, but for a repeatable interesting challenge, these randomly generated puzzles are a lot of fun. So I'm going to work you guys through the logic of this puzzle. The goal is to mark all the blue cells. The number in each cell signifies how many blue cells are adjacent to it. The number in each column or diagonal shows how many blue cells there are along the line. If there's brackets, that means the blue cells are adjacent to each other. And if there's dashes, it means the blue cells are not all adjacent to each other. So let's get started. Where is the start? There's a lot to do here. This three inside a blue cell means that there are three blue cells within this white glowy area. But I don't think this is actually where I start. Where am I trying to start? Okay, uh, we combine this two of the dash and this one. So think about it this way. If the two in this row of four, if neither of them were next to the one, then the two would have to be right here. But that's not possible because the dash says they cannot be next to each other. Therefore, there must be exactly one, not both, of the blue cells that are in one of these two cells next to the one. Meaning all four of these are empty. Okay. And now these ones and this two together, all it shows me is that the blue cells are either here and here, or here and here. What about this two? Well... At most, there can only be one blue cell in one of these because of the one, which means there has to be a blue cell here. And because there has to be a blue cell in exactly one of these two, neither of these are blue cells. So now it can come back to this two because they cannot be directly next to each other. One is going to be here, and that completes this one. And that with this one, the blue cell is forced to be here. I have a completed one, and the two is complete. I have a two here that is now complete. Oh, and this two is now complete. And is that all right now? This seven, unfortunately, well, maybe it helps me. Let's see. I have six blue cells in these eight. And at most, there can be exactly one blue cell in these three because of this two. So that means all five of these are blue cells. And because I have this two in the brackets, it means two in a row, which means this has to be the blue cell and then none of these are blue cells. And now this two is complete, so I can mark it off. And then the seven should be complete, just double checking. This three forces all three of these to be blue cells. This four forces, well, it doesn't really force too much. Um, I want to comment that this five means two out of these three are blue cells, but that doesn't do anything for me yet. Instead, let's look at this three. This three right, oh my god. Oh, that's not the three I thought it was. Oh, I thought there was a column three. Never mind. This six means that three out of these four are blue so many ones that are so close but yet nothing two out of these four are blue i think it has something to do with this four and the highlighted lines this will be an interesting trick potentially so at least one of these has to be blue no matter what oh okay here's something interesting if th <laughs> this is surprising if this cell is blue then one of these two cells is blue that would complete the four which means this cell would be not blue. Now, if this cell is not blue, it doesn't matter by itself, but the fact is this column would then be complete, meaning both this cell and this cell would not be blue, meaning this six would be incomplete. So this cell cannot be blue. Oh my God, okay, that's a start. Now, what if this one here is blue? Okay, if this cell is blue, then this cell has to be blue, meaning this cell has to be not blue. And also one of these cells has to be blue as well, meaning this isn't blue as well, meaning this can't be blue. That's a three. Okay, if one of these cells has to be blue, exactly at most one of these cells is blue. Doesn't help me. 
here's something weird. If this is blue, one of these has to be blue, then this is not blue. Then this three would force all three of these to be blue. And then because of this two, this would have to be blue, meaning this would be gray and this would be gray. So this one, what did I say? If this one was not blue, that would cause all that. So that means this has to be blue. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So now we can come to this too. Exactly one of these is blue, which means this one's also blue. And one of these four is blue, meaning neither of these are blue. Now I'm getting somewhere. So, well, if exactly one is blue and exactly one of these four is blue, that doesn't help me. Okay, if this cell is not blue, then both of these are blue. And then if this one is blue, this one has to be blue. All three of these are blue, and that would mean this one would be gray. If this one was blue, this would also be gray, meaning this one would be blue, meaning the four would be complete and this would be gray. Both of these would be gray. This has to be blue. One of these two is blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. Is it possible for both this and this to be blue? Yeah, then these two would be blue. Yeah, that's totally possible. Wait, hmm, hold on. I actually don't think it's possible for both of these hexes to be blue. Because if both of these hexes were blue, then the only way to satisfy this two? You would think I could just have the other blue here, but then this two would never be satisfied. So to satisfy both these two, so the other blue would have to be here. Meaning this would be gray. Then the third blue attached to the three would be here, and I can't have both this and this be blue because they have to be next to each other. So only one can be blue, meaning both of these are blue. All right, so which one is it? If this is blue, then this is not blue, meaning this is not blue, meaning this is blue, not blue, and then these two are blue. That's logical. That could work. What if this one's blue? It means this is not blue. It means, I mean, a lot could happen. These two could be blue and we could just have, oh, hold on. I don't know if these two can be blue together. If these two are blue, then this would have to be blue so that this isn't blue. And then this wouldn't be blue and this wouldn't be blue either. So it can't be these two. Well, can it be these two? Blue, blue. And then not blue and then blue and then not blue so this could work could it be possible for these two to be blue since these two are not possible can these two be blue then this would not be blue this would not be blue these two would be blue and then this would not be blue and then this would be blue meaning this cannot be blue that's a four okay um that means this cannot be blue it has to be two in a row I'm so close to getting this. Once I crack this four, I'll be in it. Let's see. Could it be these two hexagons being blue? Well, if they were, this would not be blue. This would be blue. And then this would be blue. So it would be these two. Okay. Then what if these two are blue? Then... This would be blue, and this would be blue. So, either these two cells or these two cells are blue within the four, meaning these two are never blue. This one is now complete, and I think that helps narrow it down, right? Because this is now blue, this is now blue. This can't be blue, this is blue. The four is complete, this two is finally complete. Holy crap, this is getting somewhere now. This six is complete, this two is now complete. This three can be complete easily. This three is complete, it's all coming together. The patterns are emerging. This took so long to hunt for, you wouldn't believe. It's still not simple here. Whew. What about this one, what about a different one? Oh, it comes to this diagonal four now. All three of these have to be blue. That's all that's left. This one is now complete. And this one is now complete. I can complete this three easily. This five. Four out of... Or no, three out of four of these are blue. One of these two are blue. Meaning that these two are always blue. And there we go. That's complete. Okay, because of this three, all four of these have only one blue. This three means that one of these two are blue, meaning these two are never blue. Okay, this four 
means that one of these three are blue, and this one means one of these two are blue, meaning this is not blue. There's three forces of blue here. This is good. This is a blue. So now it comes to this five. All five cannot be in a row, which means neither of these are blue. All right. What about this four? This four means three out of four of these are blue. Um, here's what I know. Between the three, the four, and the five, I know that three out of four of these have to be blue, which at least one of these two have to be blue. And because of this five, one of these two have to be blue. So we have one blue, another implied blue, and a third implied blue, meaning this is not blue. And actually, it does mean both of these are blue, so I can clear up this four real quick. I have a two, which is now complete, which means this is blue, completing that. There's three forces of blue here, and now this is complete, and the three is complete. I have a different three that's complete now. A two. So I know that two out of these three are blue, meaning at least one of these is blue, meaning this is not a blue. This three forces two blues, and now the four is complete. This four forces a blue here. This one is now complete. This two forces two blues here. This is not a blue. And look at this, three remaining blue cells. All three of these are blue. What an amazing puzzle. What did I tell you? It took me a while to hunt for the hard things, but that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you got to think a lot ahead, do a lot of hunting and pecking, and there is just a phenomenal puzzle that came out of it. So, as you can see, the random generator can hide some incredible, incredible puzzling within. Let me know if you guys have found any interesting seeds within the hard puzzles. You can punch in whatever you want as long as it's under 10,000. And maybe if someone found a seed that's insanely hard, I'd love to try to tackle it for a video or for some other reason. So thank you guys all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next Hexels video. Have a wonderful day and peace.